Hello everyone. I think I did it fix a little bit. Yes. Hello everyone. How is everybody doing? Yes. Oh, welcome to my channel, Maria Bicolana. Welcome to my kitchen. Yes. Another cheerful day. Yes. Another cheerful day with the chickadee here. Yes. <laughs> oh, life is short. Let's just live happy, guys. Yes. Actually, no sun. No sun outside. It's kind of gloomy. But it's okay. It can stay outside. We are inside. So, um, the show must go on. Yes. <laughs> welcome, welcome, guys. Um, I'm always a bit early. I think it's, yeah, but it's better to be early than late. I don't like being late. Yes. Yes. Actually, you know, there are people that's so bad, you know, for being late. We miss uh, one of my friends. Well, she's not my friend anymore. Um, and it's got nothing to do of us missing the wedding. We miss the wedding. Yes, we miss the wedding just because of her putting makeup and then smoking cigarette. Putting makeup and smoking cigarette. <laughs> <sighs> yes and I don't smoke and I don't like being late and honestly guys it was a uh, very 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 trying very very trying to be calm but I managed to be calm because um to be cool you know because we're going to a wedding and I don't wanna you know ruin my other friend wedding just because of my other friend being narcissist selfish <laughs> well i don't know some people may call it it's a harsh word that i use but it is what it is let's call it spade if it is spade <laughs> anyway guys welcome welcome looks like i have no one <laughs> No one watching yet because I am early, yes. Um, it's 9.25 uh, here, guys, when we started. 9.25 in the morning. Yes, guys. And today, another, like I said, another day to share. Yes, to share my cooking, baking, microwaving, mukbang, and what else? Yes, this channel is all, <laughs> is all about sharing my food, my cooking, yes, and baking. But you, you're going to be seldom seeing baking here because I did bake some here before. Um, few, I baked pizza. If you go back to some of my video, you will see I bake pizza, my favorite Hawaiian pizza. And I bake um, roast chicken, um, you know, roast ham, I think. Yeah, because, um, and also I bake what? Uh, buns. Buns, I, I'm really good at making buns and... Uh, a banana bread I bake here and what else I can't remember right now but anyway yes baking is not really my favorite guys yes so it's going to be more of the things that you're gonna be seeing here in this channel Maria Bicolana is all about home cooking my food my food that I love to eat, yes, the food that um, I prefer to eat because it is my home, it is my kitchen, and it is my food. So I'm just sharing it to you guys, and I hope you like the chickadee here sharing with you. <laughs> 
kwento-wento na lang tayo. Anyway guys, um, like I said weather-wise, the sun is not shining. It's kind of gloomy a bit outside, yes. Well, it is winter. It's, well, gee, I should not be moving too fast winter. I mean, it's autumn here. It's fall. So, actually, there's a lot of leaves outside. I need to clean it up. But I'm going to get some help to, you know, to clean up my yard. I, I really do need um, somebody to help me out with my yard yeah <laughs> because it's huge yard and i think en we enjoyed it our family enjoyed the big huge yard but it's um a lot of work yeah it's a lot of work and honestly in my age i don't really want to do all that physical work that i used to do you know um I kind of want to enjoy the moment now, you know, enjoy what I do. Yeah, just enjoy. And um, bonus, if I can travel here and there, but we are still pandemic right now. I don't know. Hopefully everybody get vaccinated. Yes, I am all in for vaccination because we do need it. Yes. Um... It is for everybody's sake, you know. It's it, it it you cannot say that oh it's um it's um my right, it's my belief. Well okay, we respect that, you know. But if it is pandemic, yes, pandemic. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Where is my phone? I thought I'm ready, but <laughs> I better go get up and get my phone. In in my age too, I when I sat down, I kind of don't want to get up. <laughs> yes, hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Beautiful day where I live. Yes. Well, I uh, the chickadee here. I welcome you. A cheerful morning, guys. Yes. I better get up and my get my phone. <laughs> Yeah, it's, um, we are in pandemic, guys, and honestly, I think everyone to get over with this, and so let's just, you know, do it, just do it, you know. Um, yes, guys, and of course, guys, hello, hello, everyone, I cannot reply, yes, I still... I don't know. I, I really, I must admit, I'm not that high tech, you know. Um, I, I know pretty basic or less basic. Yes, anyway, guys, um, today, yes, today, it's like I said, I pretty well, you know, cover everything about the weather and about welcoming you in my um kitchen maria bicolana kitchen and i hope you enjoy my time with you today yes um i am going to cook uh um there's no trivia today that i can remember i think it's friday it's okay hello everyone thank you for tuning in thank you for um joining me in maria bicolana and i hope um you enjoy your time with me anyway guys um uh i'm we're not gonna have trivia today i think it's friday and let's just get our let it go just relax just relax enjoy the moment <laughs> guys forgive me if i'm being i'm really really talkative when i'm in my life yeah i i you any one of you <laughs> ay, ay, ay. i'm just trying honestly guys to tell you the truth i'm really really trying i'm being honest i am um, ay, ay, ay. i enjoyed more just videoing myself somewhere else but in live i don't know 
<laughs> so I'm just trying to kind of do it in cuento wento. Hello everybody, my team in Bicol. I hope you are there. Um, um, ikaw, uh, pre, the, my, my team, Nate Monilia, Rosie Man Monilia, and Presi, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you talaga sa mga tulong ninyo sa akin. Yes, and you're always there to watch me. Yes. So anyway, guys, like I told you, um, Life is, uh, it's really, really trying for me. But I am having fun. Don't get me wrong. I am having fun. But it's, um, I, I'm the only one here in my house. So I feel like, you know, I'm talking to myself. So that's why I laugh. Yeah. But anyway, I know. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. But I know you guys were there, you know. Um, even if a few hours, you know, you spent with me, I hope you enjoyed it. But anyway, guys, um, without too much ado, today what we're going to be cooking is... Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat, salamat, salamat po uh, for watching my live in my channel maria bicolana yes and um, today we are going to cook yes we are going to cook ribs pork ribs and will you see guys um guys and girls maria and jun jun welcome you know um when uh, my family love ribs, yeah. It, it is our basic, when I go out there and buy my basic grocery, when my kids were growing up or we started, we love uh, ribs because it's very handy. There's always rib in the store. And um, at that time, it was cheap, but not anymore. Like I said, everything went up. Inflation, I don't know what happened. Anyway, so... Um, my heart goes out to those people that, you know, um, is really struggling, you know. I must say, you know, we have people like that, you know. So, we are so blessed. Those people that, you know, can afford. Um, we are so blessed. And count your blessing. Yes. Every morning, please uh, thank God for all the blessing that we have. Because... It is reality. There are people there that cannot afford it. And I must admit, um, now it's a little bit for... I, I'm living comfortable now. But when I was growing up, guys, honestly, it was very, very tough. Very, very tough. So that's why I know there is still... Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. Yes, it's very, very tough when I was growing up. So I can relate to those people that, you know, less fortunate. So uh, my heart goes out to all you guys. And uh, may God whisper to you all his love. Yeah, because, you know, God is always with us no matter what. Yes. So um, and just remember, you were not alone. Yeah. And sometimes those trial and struggle that we have, yes, I am a living testimony of that, yes, living testimony of that, that um, it's not permanent. Yes, it's not permanent. It's gonna... I think I talk too much, yes. It's not permanent, so... Um, just be patient, be patient, sabi nga, one of our saying in Tagalog, uh, pag may nilaga, ay ano ba yun, pag may tiyaga, may nilaga. If you are patient, they're gonna have something, you know, to come, yes. Anyway, guys, I am going to cook ribs today because I went to the freezer and I was looking all the, all the, you know, they have a expiration date. They have a when you bought it. So I thought I, it needed to be cooked, the ribs. So 
Um, although we were just talking about ribs the other day. So I'm kind of not feeling cooking it. But I said, oh, I better cook this because it's, um, I don't want it to go bad. I don't like wasting. So anyway, guys, um, that's what we're going to be having. Ah, uh, teriyaki pork ribs. Yes, I love teriyaki, guys. Yes. And my family loved ribs. Actually, they used to have a, a chicken and ribs restaurant where we, where I live here, and we we um we really um we go there a lot with our family because I like to go where everybody like you know to go, and it's really really good, guys. What we have like there is just baked ribs i i'm sure it's just baked rib and then they have baked beans oh so yummy i don't know if you guys like kind of like in the philippines pork and beans baked beans and then they have coleslaw beside and then you have choices if you want rice um, for your carbohydrates if you want fries if you want baked potatoes oh i love baked potatoes with you know, a slit in the middle, and then you put butter, like, ooh, oodles on oodles of butter, or um, sour cream, you know, sour cream, bacon bits, and also um, green onion. Oh, it's, it's just to die for. It's so yummy. Yes, <laughs> we're all talking about, you know, those were the days. Those were the days. Anyway, it's it's really like you know, eating out is also fun when you don't do it all the time. It's a treat. Yes, it's a treat. But if you do it all the time, it's boring. It's and it's expensive too. Very expensive. Yeah. So um, but today what I thought actually what I did with um, my um pork rib i decided to cook it yesterday in the oven yes i i open it up and wash it i wash it very well and i didn't put nothing nothing i didn't put anything i just lay him in a cookie sheet i just um there's two pieces the one is a bit small the other one is big so i just lay him out in the cookie sheet and bake him, nothing, just bake him to cook. Yeah, and I cook it for about one and a half hour, I think. And, well, I was debating myself, I thought, should I put a sauce in it? But then I got thinking, um, actually, guys, it's not my favorite for ribs. My favorite for ribs is this, this cooking. I... It's almost like a appetizer, guys. This teriyaki pork ribs that I'm gonna be cooking is like a um, what do you uh, appetizer because um, it's a finger food. You can use it as a finger food. I actually make it when I have. We used to have party when the kid when the kids were young. We used to have party because we're young. The kids were young and we are young and. And we do like to have once in a while a party, you know. We have lobster party, we have corn party, all kinds of party, you know. But I'm not gonna tell you all that. And I used to cook this, um, lots of ribs. And you just, exactly what I'm gonna be showing you how to cook. And it, even in Christmas time, you can use it as a appetizer. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. Yes, appetizer, guys, because the same with meatballs. Because um, uh, New Year's, actually, my family, it's a tradition. Uh, New Year's, we always, um, anybody that can, Christmas is a must. Christmas, it's a tradition, no chibuena, a must to get together. Yes, all the family get together. We still try that. And... Um, I cook ham, usually ham, and steaks, like, uh, it depends what the family wants, steak or what. So for me, um, I just like um, uh, New Year's, I, I don't want to, to be um, 
I don't want to push, you know, to them, oh, you have to come to the house, you know. So it's whoever can come. So appetizer is the best to cook, yes. Because if you have appetizer, people, if they have, you just put them on the table, kind of like a buffet, everybody, you know. And I am leaning more into family time, yes. Of course, we have to have always family time because that's the glue, the glue um, in the family. Like even now, like, you know, I'm old now and I'm thinking, you know, they're adult now, they're thinking adult now and you cannot push your your belief to them. They they have their own belief. They, they're adult now, you know, but you have to respect them because they're adult now. And to me, I don't want to push it, but they do still come back. You know, they do still like tradition. Yes. It's, um, I don't know. I think family tradition should be, you know, um, they should do it because if we don't, people were so busy right now and I don't know. They're just so busy and no time and um, because you you don't want to be bothering them too. When they're busy, they're working. Yeah. So anyway, guys, um, I think I am. No, I think it's a bit early to cook. What's that? Oh, excuse me, guys. Salamat, salamat po, salamat. And like I said, um, um, what do you call that? Um, we are going to cook appetizer. It's finger food, guys, finger food. So we still have a bit time. Like I told you guys, I always try to do my thing in segment, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I think I still have a few more. So, um, you know, interact, talk to you guys. So, anyway, guys, to tell you, I don't know if anyone watching me yesterday about my story, about my family uh, going to resort um, in, in, in the Philippines when I go home, I like everybody to be together. It's kind of like our mini mini reunion and i i really really love that i love family i love my family uh near and far i love my family and um so i tell them you know go ahead and look uh look for resort that you like because i'm not familiar with any resort here so some of them are very very good but some of them can really pick the the lousy one you know but anyway we're not talking about the lousy one we're gonna continue the i have continuation with those remember the yellow fin we were getting ready yellow pin fish we are getting ready this is yesterday guys we are good ready getting ready to the resort so uh seven o'clock i told them seven o'clock everybody ready the, the jeepney, the two jeepney is waiting outside for us to hop in to go to this beautiful, beautiful resort. And I would like to go back in there again. You know, this time, my three, my three nephew, I only have three nephew right now in the Philippines because um, their parents already passed away. So... Um, I only have three uh, and they are very, very responsible to keep me happy, to keep everybody happy, to look for this beautiful resort in Tabaco Albay. Shout out to all Tabacano there. Yes, I still remember you have beautiful. The only downside in this resort were all the, the steps going down to the swimming pool it's it's stiff it's really step that and for me i find it because i'm old now you know maybe i should have told them more that 
um, I don't like many, many steps. But I managed to go there, you know, safely. So anyway, guys, I will tell you there's three tiers of swimming pool. So the owner of the resort must, have, must really, really know what they're doing. I think it's a spring. There's a spring on top and it was three. Like the biggest, the biggest, biggest, because I guess around uh, summertime, around May and June, or no, April and May, it's busy, busy place. So I can see why it's busy place. And there's a lot of cottages, lots of, you can actually stay there. I would like to stay there um, someday if I can still make it there. So anyway, guys. Credit, I give credit to my three, to my three nephew in Bicol for choosing this beautiful place. And I must say, um, this is outside Tabaco, Albay, about, I don't know, maybe five minutes. It's not very far from Tabaco. And we grew, my parents actually, yes, my parents, both of them actually came from that area. So most of our relatives live there, but I don't know them anymore, you know. I probably have two that I can remember that I would like to visit them when we go there. So anyway, guys, we go there. Beautiful, you know, um, place, beautiful resort. Guess what? I was some, um, I overheard this one guy saying, the family name, I said, I wonder who owns this place. And I overheard this one guy saying who owned the place. It was um, a guy from the States, like, you know, own it. Like, uh, um, I think his son, his son own, own it. So then I heard the family name. It's the same as our family name. So I said, I tell you it. Their family name is the same as our family name. And he said, yeah, I know. I overheard that too. So Ate Lola came to the guy, the, the father, introduced herself in there. And he said, you know, we are so in so, you know, our, uh, my, um, my uh, father-in-law and my mother-in-law, so in so from tobacco. And then... So they give us 20% off. <laughs> yeah. So it was really, really nice. So anyway, just beautiful, beautiful place. It was not very busy. There's probably about five of us only there. So um, they have karaoke. So we rented the karaoke. And I must say, I have one nephew. Yes, that his voice just like Tom Jones. Yeah, Tom Jones' voice. And I love, love Tom, Tom Jones. And I was so happy because I love music, guys. I do love music. And um, I said, oh, Rolando, just keep singing, keep singing. You know, I love it. All those, you know, Delilah, all those other Tom Jones, um, you know. So anyway... And I did, um, I think I have, how many songs did I have to, I did a um, few songs also from me. Um, and they enjoyed it. We really enjoyed it. The food, like my sister-in-law bought on the way there, um, bangus and tilapia, because the yellow pin <laughs> is gone. The yellow pin, you know, and the, the cats and the dog, are the one that having a feast with a yellow fin. That was yesterday I was say, telling the story. So anyway, guys, I really enjoyed it. Well, here comes the funny one. After we ate, everybody swimming, you know, and my sister-in-law, my, uh, my sister, my other sister, uh, she's in heaven now. Ate, I, we miss you. Yeah. I, anyway, um... Um, we were sitting under that. They have a mango there, like huge mango with hammock. They have a hammock and also uh, four chairs. 
So I lay down in the hammock because we just ate. I was full and it was very, very hot. So the rest were swimming and some are singing in the karaoke, which I enjoyed very well. Yes. And, you know, um, as I was laying in there, enjoying and um i they were laughing and laughing and i said i wonder what's going on there's gotta i'm i'm really bad at that when when there's laughing and laughing going on i want to check what's going on so i got up in my hammock and check it out i i right away to the pool and i could see one of my nephew yes <laughs> Just rubbing and rubbing the shampoo. Like he was by the swimming pool there. Rubbing, rubbing his hand with the shampoo. And just lathering his head with the shampoo, shampoo. And his face, you know. And so then, that's what the, the funny, that all these kids were laughing. And the kids were saying, hey, he said, get out of there. You're not supposed to be having a shampoo in there. And this is um, um, the oldest of the three, three, um, three nephew that I have, and it's already told there. You know how you're not supposed to to shampoo in there. There you have to wash first in the, you know, the shower. They have a outside shower. There's all over outside shower. So I run, I I said to Elvis. Tell him why is he having a a shampoo in there? He's not supposed to. Maybe we're gonna be fine, you know. So, um, get him out there, and I guess he somebody already told them the katiwala in the in the swimming pool that he's not supposed to be shampooing himself in there. So, um, I, he did less. Uh, you know, I I told them. So I he he's not very far. So I said, "Landu noi noi, how come you um you're not supposed to be you know shampooing and lathering you?" I said, "Well, he said it's water. We he's kind of philosophical. Philosophical. It's water. He said, of course we can shampoo." And I said, no, we have to use the, it's a no, no, we have to use the shower. You know, there's a lot of shower everywhere. And he said, well, if they don't like um, us to be shampooing here, why they are selling shampoo? Because when I bought my shampoo in the store, because they have a store, and they didn't stop me, you know, to buy the shampoo. <laughs> And he started laughing. I said, "No, no, you're. I think they're not. Even, they don't even know. Maybe they're. They're just there to sell shampoo. You know, if you need it. But I anyway, you're not supposed so. So you better get out of there and go to. So he did listen, and I laugh because you know, um, those three boys actually. I I kind of felt bad for them because. And they were orphan. Well, no, when the mother were having a baby with the with the youngest one, um, she died, you know, she the baby alive, but the mother died because of I think um something I think um something wrong with um her pregnancy. So that's that so I kinda felt bad for for those three, you know, because they, I think they only went to elementary school. My parents actually look after them after um, their mom died. And um, yeah, it's, um, I kind of felt bad for them. But anyway, it was such a, such a beautiful, beautiful day, sun shining. Everyone enjoyed the food and uh you know the family we were all happy together and you know what guys i really really miss that i miss that and i'm hoping if this pandemic pandemic go away i i can go back again and you know even just one last time you know i would like to go back there even just one last time so that was the when to win to guys yeah so we are going to cook now 
Our teriyaki. You were gonna... Here is, guys. Like I said, I already... I already, um... Like I said, I already, um... I already cook it in the oven yesterday. Um, didn't put in nothing. There's nothing in it. See the ribs. I cut them this morning. Yeah. I cut them this morning. The, the rib. Anyway, guys. Um, what we're as as I said, we're gonna be cooking teriyaki for this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pan fry him a little bit, uh, kind of to brown it a little bit brown, and then I'm gonna put um spices. Well, no, not too much. Um, actually, I wish I have a chili sauce, but I don't have chili sauce. So it's okay if um, in this kitchen, Maria Bicolana kitchen, if I don't have it, um, I don't look for it. It's we that's part of being a good cook is you have to be resourceful, you know. But anyway, guys, this is all I'm gonna have one onion, and this is only for decoration. One onion and my pepper. This is pepper for decoration also this is just decoration the onion we're gonna cut it big big chunk so because i don't like to be i don't like to be splashed with the oil i'm gonna put um just sprinkle a bit of um flour in it yeah that's what i'm gonna do and then fry it you know guys um because i want it crispy and brown it and then what you do after is um i'm gonna um just put us put back in the in the pan and put um i actually some people use teriyaki teriyaki soya sauce but i don't like teriyaki sauce no so i just use the normal soya sauce <clears throat> i just use normal soya sauce soya sauce okay the sauce will be soya sauce about two tablespoon soya sauce um two tablespoon ketchup um pepper like you know pepper Lots of pepper, ground pepper or cracked pepper. And brown sugar. That's it, guys. Brown sugar. And we're, that's it. Um, uh, I think that's what my teriyaki, because I don't have chili sauce. I thought I have chili sauce. But it's okay. It's gonna taste good. Okay, guys, let's start cooking. Oh, we should do the, the onion first. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. I really enjoyed having you guys. Really enjoyed having you guys, so we're just gonna, like I said, this is going to be just decoration, guys. Just decoration. Another onion. Onion, onion that makes you cry. If you let it cry, if you let it. Okay, guys, this is garbage, so I'm gonna get rid of it first. So we'll cut it. Just big chunk, guys. Just big chunk. About, about like that. Three, six, six cuts. Yeah. Like that, six cuts. That's just a decoration, guys. A decoration. And 
so was the chili. The chili and decoration to. We're just gonna cut it lengthwise. Lengthwise, guys. Or sideways, I mean, see? That's a decoration. That's it. Very simple. Yes, very simple. And also, we're going to decorate it with... This is flour. This is flour, guys. Just a, just a little bit. So, yeah. So it doesn't splash. So it doesn't splash, guys. This um, cooking here, guys, is just home cooking. Lutong bahay. Home cooking. And this is going to be my lunch. Yes, this is going to be my lunch. So, okay, guys, we're going to fry them now. Let's fry them. stove on just any frying pan yeah and let's put oil guys about we're gonna put extra oil this time usually I use two tablespoon because I'm gonna fry this maybe three tablespoon will do or four Four guys. Four. Four. Yeah, I you don't have to put flour guys. It's just because I'm I don't know, I don't like the oil splashing on me. So every time I fry something I put a bit of oil because I this we're gonna put on lots of pepper with this I love pepper yeah so okay I think it's not hot yet so maybe not where it's not hot everybody doing i hope you're all doing fine and it's a friday i hope you find the time to enjoy yourself hello everyone thank you for tuning in yes i hope you like my cooking teriyaki pork crabs it's a finger food guys finger food yes appetizer if you have a party this is actually a go for a party you know and it's very easy very very easy to cook easier than meatballs <laughs> yes you can just um um you know uh, well actually i cook it because um we have you know our time is short but you don't even have to cook it um you can fry them right away if you want yeah it's it's good but i bake it because um uh, our time today is, you know, it takes longer to cook. So that's why I bake it. So it's already cooked, actually. Anyway, guys, in goes, in goes the, in goes the rib. In 
close the rib. I'm out of ketchup. I'm out of ketchup. Because we need um, soya sauce, ketchup. But you can use chili sauce also, guys. Chili sauce. Um, ketchup and pepper, ground pepper. Also, brown sugar. Yes, we're using sugar this time. Brown sugar.
a spoon of brown sugar. One tablespoon and chili guys but this is optional you don't have to use chili if you don't want to this is optional. The onion, the onion. This is really yummy, yummy, yummy finger food, guys. Really, really yummy finger food that I cooked for you. Bye-bye.